Hey guys, for Collider News, I'm Natasha Martinez. If you think Netflix has a lot of original content right now, wait until you hear what's coming. The streaming service launched 450 hours of original programming in 2015, which not only saw an increase in original series, but also the launch of Netflix's first original film, Beasts of No Nation, which, to be fair, was acquired by Netflix after it was produced. However, we've merely seen the tip of the iceberg here. As reported by Variety, while speaking at Goldman Sachs Communicopia Conference, CFO David Wells said that Netflix is aiming to have half of its content be original production within the next few years, with the other half made up of licensed TV shows and movies. If you're wondering how in the world Netflix can keep up its quality with this much original programming, the answer is it probably won't. Wells even noted that not every show needs to be an orange is the new black size hit. We don't necessarily have to have home runs. We can also live with singles and doubles and triples, especially commensurate with their cost. We're a long way away from the expensive launch of House of Cards, and it feels like we're in the midst of a tide change for Netflix. The network just canceled its first series with Bloodline, announcing that the upcoming third season will be its last due to the high cost of the series versus presumably lower viewership. And therein lies the issue. Since Netflix refuses to release ratings numbers, we really have no idea who's watching what, aside from what Netflix tells us. Regardless, Netflix's path to world domination continues. It's interesting to see the streaming service slowly become one of the major homes for prestige entertainment, and with low-profile shows like Stranger Things breaking out in a big way. We know now that Netflix users will find quality content on their own. They don't necessarily need to be a big-name star or director to convince them to watch. For more on this story and everything Netflix, head on over to Collider.com and be sure to subscribe to the Collider Videos YouTube channel to keep up with all the must-know TV and movie news.